When it comes to AI, one of the most common questions that people ask themselves is about CPU versus GPU. And then so off the bat, I'm going to hit play on this cell because I'm going to show you the differences in real time here between using CPU for something and using GPU for something. So in this instance and in this first instance, we're going to use CPU and it's going to detect we're using CPU. And essentially what we're doing is we're training a, a um, encoder decoder model in this instance. So we're training a neural network and then we're training it for 10 epochs. Uh, and then it's going to go through, it's going to take about two and a half minutes to run here in a CPU. And this is um, essentially a overall straightforward attention mechanism. Uh, I do have, this is a, um, I'm using my swarm attention uh, algorithm uh, and then using that for testing uh, in this instance but uh, other than that it's just a very straightforward algorithm and then so what we can see and and what we're looking at here is it going through its training and then going through and looking at this to you uh very first thing to note is that these numbers are awful like this is is very bad right uh, uh 30 as the, as the starting loss rate is bad uh going down it's going down significantly which is good um to seven but like i mean we will we want this below one and so we're not going to get there by the time that this goes through and completes its full training right and it's going to go through it's going to take another minute to complete its full training in this particular instance as it's going through and then so as it's going through in this particular instance it's again training and an encoder and decoder mechanism uh, on a data set that i've created which is just like a random number data set it's created like um, a thousand random numbers and then it's training it to predict the outcome of the, the run general essentially. And then so in this instance, the reason why it's so bad with regards towards performance, score, et cetera, when it comes to utilizing the CPU is that all of this wants to utilize parallel processing. It wants to do all of this in conjunction. It wants to train like this whole thing and multiple parts at one time, which modern CPUs can handle. As you can see here, we're going through and we're getting something, right? We're getting something with regards towards the results. But uh, this is not anything near what we would actually want with regards uh, towards the results. We can see here it's taken, still running, two minutes and 45 seconds. Uh, almost three minutes here to execute. We have an average training loss at the end here of 1.5, uh, and then it went started off at 30. And so what this tells us overall is that while a CPU can do this and we can utilize it for these things, this isn't any sort of performance that I would want to write home about. This is something that I could do like if I was a uh, research student. No. Um, I could do and I could get by with this right and I would get some sort of results but so I want to show you I'm uh, changing the environment here to a GPU environment and then let's keep these numbers here in mind so uh, 1.5 is the end 30 um, is the start and then it took about for, let's say three minutes now let's go and run And they get a second to sec. It detects that we're running CUDA in this instance as opposed to CPU. Uh, so CUDA being NVIDIA. And then here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Starts at 30 still uh, going through. Uh, this is, I was expecting this to be a little bit better, but it starts dropping here. Um, and then we get 1.8 as far as the loss rate. Uh, and then so... In this instance, uh, it, the loss rate ends around the same, right? The, the CPU loss rate ended up a little bit better uh, in this instance, um, but we can see that it ran for 23 seconds. And I can run it again, and I can run this again and again, which is what I can't do with the uh, CPU version. So what I can tell you is with that CPU version that we, we were running before, that one was an outlier to me uh, as far as what I've been running within this. When I've been running with the CPU before, it was ending around three. Uh, as opposed to 1.8.
So you can see here significant speed up improvement. Uh, and then generally speaking, you do also get a general performance increase with CPU or GPU as opposed to CPU. Uh, and then in this instance, it's kind of trolling me a bit uh, as it kind of does from time to time. So that's again, like um, goes into non-deterministic outcomes with regards towards dealing with AI overall as well, though, which is important to keep in mind overall. But so in this instance, in 13 seconds. So what you can see, just a significant performance increase is the major thing to highlight and to showcase here between CPU and GPU. So when you ask yourself, what's the actual difference? You're looking at it here. 10x difference right? <laughs> like uh, uh in regards towards um the actual uh going through and, and how long it is actually taking to test and run these things and so i can run 10 tests in a time of gpu it would take to run in cpu uh, and then we can average out these results and then so we can know that this would be an anomaly uh, on this end as opposed to like the one the anomaly that we got on the cpu end and then we can do more tests with gpu as opposed to cpu to figure those things out and so that's a big difference overall it's just comes down massively to performance and the reason why it comes down to performance is because of parallelization and parallel processing and the fact that you want all this to be doing all of these multiple things at once like this up content please like and subscribe thank you very much